What's, what's up, people? Real quick, um, they, they got a ball game, game get ready to pop off over there. The day is Saturday. Um, tomorrow's Sunday. Then we got Monday, which is the the, uh, the eclipse popping off. But anyway, I just left the church, went to go grab some free, you know, vegetation and stuff like that. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to just say something real quick, cause just recently, um, I just you know I just took a shower and just ran out and. I just use some, you know, some Q-tips to clean out my ears, right? And I remember, y'all probably don't remember, but I got a video, like, probably like two or three years in the past that I, I spoken, oh, we got a bot coming there, but it's okay, though, let them come. But I spoke about this in the past, right? That, um, that when I used to clean my ears, Remember, I remember I told you from the technology that they used to, well, not used to, still implant in me. But the technology, right, it used to cause, like, real itchy ears. And like I said, tinnitus and all that stuff. But ever since I've been taking my detox, all that stuff has gone out the window. But but if I don't if I don't continue my treatment, then it will be back. But my, my point is, what I'm saying is that I remember that I spoke about it on my video and I said that it it leaves this this um crazy stench in my ears. Like when I used to dig in my ears with the Q tip and I used to smell it. Now this might, you know, this might sound gross to some people, but this is just, you know, this is real, this is a you know, true story. And when I when I used to smell it, it had this metallic smell to it. Like anybody that ever worked in like heavy machinery or whatever. Any type of construction type of job, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to like metallic smell, like a metal smell. So that's how I know for a fact that whatever that they were implanting or not were, but still is implanting inside my dome, inside my cranium. Um, it, it, it's nothing but some type of uh, it is nanotechnology. It's some type of highly sophisticated, advanced technology that they can do it from the satellites and the 5G and the cell phones and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So now when I when I take a shower and when I, you know, how you, you know when you get out and your ears is wet, see the sun coming out? Well, the sun has been out, but it's just the clouds in the way, the chemtrails. So when my ears is wet, when I when I, when I I dry my ears with the Q-tip, now it's, it's completely different now. It's no stink, it's no stench or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's not even, it's not even a, um, a, a bad look like you know what I'm saying the wax is not like thick like it used to be like I remember you know um look out for Charlie had spoke about this a long time ago he was saying that he was saying that he was suffering from dry wax or something like that's the reason why I be that's the reason why I bring him up I know he don't he don't talk about me but I'm pretty sure he saw my videos before everybody saw gangstar simulation but you ain't got to mention me you know what I'm saying but I remember in the past when I watched him before in one of the videos that he did mention that whatever this technology is, it does dry up the wax that's in your ears. And I'm a living witness of that. You see what I'm saying? Now, is my wax dried up now? No, it's not since I've been taking my stuff, since I've been taking my treatments. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I, that's why I keep telling people, like, your, your targeting is not the same as mine. And when I ask people, what are you taking? And they're not taking enough. And see, and see, most of y'all, some of y'all probably just, like I said, just getting street theater. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might just see a couple of dog stalkers and stuff. But my my stuff is on a whole nother level, dog. And and as well as um, look out for Charlie, too. Because a lot, of, a lot of his symptoms and experiences, when he spoke about it in his videos, we can relate. I can relate to what he was talking about. That was another reason why I decided to take the Borax because he had recommended it. And then I and then I did my own research and I looked up, you know, Borax and everything. And they were saying, a lot of people saying it was good. Now, I don't take it no more because I took enough of it. I took enough of Borax to last me, you know what I'm saying, another 15 years probably, you know what I'm saying? But Borax don't stay in your system, though. You see what I'm saying? You it, you could take it and it, and it, and and it's uh I think they, what they say is water soluble or something. So it 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 um it flushes out your system. It don't stay in your system long. I think like after three to seven days, you know, of taking it, it's gone. Probably even less than that. You know what I'm saying? So 
and I had taken too much of it and I, and, and I had some adverse reactions to that. You know, I'm not even going to speak about that, but I had to get up off of it. You see what I'm saying? So, but I do, I do know that, um, that bull rocks did help me out, but I just took too much of it. Don't take too much of it. If you're going to take it, you just take a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? But when you in this type of, uh, this program, you being, you battling with AI and invisible weapons, you just want to you want to do whatever it takes to make the pain stop you know what i'm saying because that whoosh whoosh and that tinnitus and that um itchy of the ears and stuff man i'm trying to tell you man that that right there like i'm talking about four years ago five years ago man you know all them days when i was in the um those motels and hotels and stuff i was you know i was going through it and i thought that i thought that um Running from these bots would uh, make things better, but it didn't. You know, since so I realized that I wasted a lot of money, and 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 the reason why I was even able to go to those motels because that's when the Pandesi had popped off, and they gave out that you know that money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I missed that money. That money was lovely. I wish you come back, baby. You know what I'm saying? That money was lovely, man. So you know, anybody that got that money know what I'm talking about. That was a beautiful feeling. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing about it. Is that at that time when I received that dough, I was being gang stalked and tracked and traced, and, and 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 it wasn't, it wasn't fun. I couldn't, I didn't, you know, say it was, it was really, really messed up, really, because I couldn't, I couldn't enjoy the money. Here it is, I'm sitting on all this money, and number one, I'm by myself. Number two, I'm not by myself because I got all these agents around me. And number three, you know. I'm just being tracked and traced and, 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 and harassed everywhere I go. And that's when I was just driving around, going from state to state, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's how I even had the money to fly from PA to California, you know what I'm saying? From from that money, you know what I'm saying? So, so um, and, and I'm trying to tell you, money, man, when you spend it carelessly, money do fly. It do. I just wish that I would have just sat on it and, and, and just endured the pain. And just really, really focus more on detoxification and finding the right things to take. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time when I was, I was, you know, still learning in my processing of what should I take and blah, blah, blah. And the things that I was taking wasn't, it wasn't helping. It wasn't helping. And that's why I realized, you know what I'm saying? Like salts is another, man. I'm trying to tell you salts. When, when Jesus said we're the salt of the earth, salt cleanses, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to number one, baking soda. Cause I when I, I took baking soda first before I tried the borax, and baking soda helped me out uh, tremendously. Baking soda was what got the whoosh whoosh out my ears. All that, all that that synthetic whoosh whoosh sound. Y'all don't know. Y'all somebody might know what I'm talking about. If any, most of y'all don't. If anybody come on the comments and be talking, it might just be a bot just talking. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of bots just be, oh yeah, I've been experienced that too. Yeah, I do whoosh whoosh in my ear. You know, you just you just talking. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about for the real people that actually experience this for real. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just, and it trust me, it ain't just me because I did a video on this a long time ago and about tinnitus and it was, they talking about millions of people in the world is experiencing tinnitus and whoosh whoosh sounds in their ears. So this is not just me. There's a lot of targeted, and trust me, y'all, you, look, you're, you're, you're stuck on yourself if you're thinking that you're the only targeted individual. I just want to let you know that. You are too conceited. You are too vain. If you think that you're the only one going through this, okay? There's millions of TIs out here. And and, and majority of these TIs don't even know what's going on. They don't even know that they're targeted. They don't even know there's such thing as a targeted individual. They don't have no YouTube channel, no Facebook, no type of social media whatsoever. They just being kicked in the behind and they know that they're probably going through something. They just probably don't know what it is because who would who would even think that your government would even do something like this? You see what I'm saying? Who would think that? You know what I'm saying? So so what what what's the first thing a person going to do if they feel in pain? You, you have been programmed to run straight to the pharmaceuticals. The moment you feel some type of pain, you got a headache or whatever, a migraine, they, they advertising... Um, you know, aspirin and Tylenol and Bear and all this stuff all day on, on, on TV. So the first thing you do is run straight to the pharmaceuticals. You don't go to holistic herbal supplementation. You don't do that. You don't do that. 
you go straight to the drugs because they already programmed you to go straight to the drugs. You run straight to your doctor. You don't even know that your doctor's already sold out. He, you go straight to your doctor. What do your doctor do? Your doctor goes straight to the drugs. <laughs> your doctor just prescribe you with the uh, with the medication. He not gonna tell you to go see uh, Doctor Sebi. <laughs> nah, he ain't gonna tell you to go see Doctor DB. Nah. There's a lot of holistic doctors out there that can help you out. You got the witch doctors that can, that can get the brewing in the kitchen, putting the herbs together, you know what I'm saying, hook you up. You see what I'm saying? But they're not going to, th those doctors get knocked off. Those doctors get gang stalked. You see what I'm saying? Those doctors get shadow banned. The, you know what I'm saying? It all makes sense because you're messing with my money. Why would I want you to blow up? I'm not going to tell, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to push you out, your agenda out to stop my cash flow. If I'm running a business called CVS or Walgreens that got nothing but chemical drugs, and then here you come, talk about, here, take these herbs. Here, take these, take the dandelion. You guys, I see some dandelion growing too, y'all. Look, you know what I'm saying? They got some over there too. You know what I mean? I see y'all. I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna wait till y'all uh because usually in summertime come, man, it it be dandelions all over the ground. So when that when that time come, when they really, really blossom, I'm 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 coming to get them. I'm coming to get them. Make me some dandelion tea. And I you know what I'm saying, and 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 you can make tinctures and everything with it. So so like I said, this is what they don't want you to do. You see what I'm saying? You talking to a living witness. I know that it's healing in earth. You don't run to the pharmaceuticals. You run to nature. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just want to be a zombie. You want to you have a red shirt on and be out here biting people, then okay. That's on you. You know what I mean? But if you want to be free <laughs> and you want to be down with DB, then you got to go ahead and get down with the herbs because I ain't messing with nobody that's on some drugs because they're going to mind control you. It's easy. It's, it's too easy to be done. All right. With that being said, though, I'm gonna end the relate. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end this video. I said end this relationship. Uh oh, we got some dog stalkers coming. I knew. I knew y'all was coming, man. You wanna go talk to him? You wanna go have a conversation, man, with the, with the dog stalkers, man? Let's go talk to him, cause it's the same guy I see all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go talk to him. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I got a question for you. Yeah. We got this uh, eclipse coming up. Yep. How do you feel about it? <laughs> no, no, no concern. Is it is it any type of martial law popping off? Martial Anything? Law? Yeah, martial law. Christians say that Jesus is coming. Well, do I believe Jesus is coming? I believe there's a lot of telltale signs out there. Okay. But um, what's up, buddy? Do I think the eclipse <laughs> has anything to do with it? No. No, not at all. No. Oh, okay, no. okay. But he's coming. Jesus is coming. Okay. You can be sure of that. You, you're a believer of Jesus Christ? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Um, nobody knows the time. Right. You know? That's that's another thing, too, because they say nobody knows the, 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 the time that Jesus is coming. But if you go on YouTube, a lot of people are saying Jesus is coming on this day. They can't tell you what right. day. Right. Jesus himself don't know until the Father exactly. tells him so. So well, these people act like they 100% sure. Well, they're wrong. Right. So. How do you feel about CERN? You know anything about CERN? No. Um, if you ever get a chance, look up CERN. Mm -hmm. it's like it's called this Hadron Collider. They said that the government got this thing called CERN, and they could activate it and let demons into this portal. Like they could open up portals and stuff well, and allow demons. demons. Are already walking among us. Right, right. That's what so, I say. <laughs> you know, so just keep your faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know. Don't worry about everything that you see. Right. Just look up. He's coming. When you hear that trumpet sound, you know he's here. One more, one more question. How do you feel about this uh, this track and trace that's going on? This with this community based agent. They got they got it's, it's called gang stalking proxy. You ever heard of proxy stalking? No. They what the government hire people like regular people like you and I right. to track and trace other people. Like it could be a target. That doesn't surprise me at all. It doesn't. I don't trust our government. Okay. We have trusted our government. The government is not for the people. The government is for their own selves. I know that's right. So, and that's how they're lying in their pockets with millions of taxpayer dollars. Right. You have Americans sleeping on the streets while we're forking billions of dollars a year in your taxpayer money. Exactly. Overseas to countries to hate our guts. Yeah. Figure that one out. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But. And you see what they're doing now with the uh, 
in California with, with, the, with the fast food chains. Yes. They closed them down because they can't, they you raised can't them. That. Right. First of all, fast food chains were never put in place for you or I to make a living off of. Right. They were, they were jobs for, for school kids. Right, right, you exactly. You know, a little income, little exactly. thing in their pocket for the school kids. You were never meant to purchase a home right. working at McDonald's. Exactly. You know, and when you raise the value up to, to $15, $20, $20 hour, man. What's that going to do to the cost of the food? Yeah. The CEOs are always going to make their money. Right. So just forget about that if you think they're going to take a hit. They're not going to take a hit. They're always going to make their money. They're claiming that they're taking a hit, like the smaller business. I don't buy that. Yeah. they claiming because they're closing down. Well, they, they shut down, you know. If they were taking a hit, they wouldn't still be in business. Well, that's why they're not in so business. I mean, like, well, like, the like, McDonald's like, franchise. Right, and, and, right, and yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's like other smaller business out there that, that in California yeah. that, that took a hit since they raised up the minimum wage to $20. They can't afford it. They can't afford it. So they had to shut down. Yep. So I'm, I'm like, is this, it's, it's like a domino effect going on. Oh, is is this, domino right. Sure. This has got to be all by design. It looks like it's all by, like it's some type of, uh, you know, like, like they're creating something here. Like they trying to create yeah. unemployment. You see what I'm saying? Because you ever hear that say what they say? They want to turn this country into a communist country. Exactly. And Ray Charles can see that. Right, right, you right. Um, people don't like Donald Trump because of his mouth. I don't like Donald Trump because of his mouth. But I don't think I've ever lived any better under Donald Trump. Right, right. I'm certainly not living any better under Joe Biden. Right. Certainly not. Now, you know Donald, Donald Trump exposed the deep state with the proxy stalking that's going on. Yeah. He spoke about it. And why do you think they're hammering him? Right. He spoke about a lot of things. He should have just kept his mouth shut and went into office. He just did it. Did what he had yeah. to mind. Instead of speaking about it. Don't advertise. Right. You advertise, man, they're coming after you. Exactly. Now, he's been out of office for almost three years. Yeah. And they're still attacking him. Yeah. And if he was all that guilty, why is he still walking? Some say why he's the Antichrist. Uh, right, right. I don't agree with that uh, either. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> no. No. You yeah. hear all kinds of stories. Yeah. You know? When Christ comes, he's coming. He's coming. That's all, and I'm ready for him. Right. I'm ready for him. Right. Yeah. Well, I say I'm ready for him. Right. But I understand what you're saying, because the world is so messed up. The world is messed up. And, and it's and like... the only one that's going to fix Yeah. It. And you're looking around, you're like, man, there ain't nothing else to do out. It's like, it's just tyranny going on here yeah. in, in, in America. Yep. The, the reason why I asked you about the proxy stalking, because the CIA and the FBI, they illegally placed me on the target list. Okay. So I get, I get harassed everywhere I go. And they and and it's called um it's called gang stalking. It's a program called gang stalking, and they what they try to do is they try to make it look like the individual is crazy, and that's why they got this mental illness thing going on right now. Cause it's a psyops, it's a big mental illness game going on, and that's how they making billions of dollars off this mental illness. You see what I'm saying? And they classifying people crazy. You got the how the, the mental illness hot homes is fit, packed with people, and they just making money off of them. You see what I'm saying? So what I do is I just expose it. Just let people know this is this is just all a side. This is tyranny. You know what I'm saying? They they just create and division amongst you and I. Right. Ain't nothing crazy about me, but it is something crazy about the government that created this fucked up program. You see what I'm saying? That's that's killing people. Yeah. I mean, this shit is literally killing people across the globe. If you ever um sort of like get a COVID, chance, right? huh? Sort of like COVID, right? Right. Right. Right, but this is even worse than this. This is even worse than that because this is actually happening. That right there was just some, you know, some psyops thing. But this is actually, you know, like people are dying from this program because it's psychological warfare, and they and they and they can and they can isolate the target. They turn everybody against you, even your own family. And they, and they so-called paying people saying they are paying people off. I don't know. I don't know if people get money about it. I try. I try to go and ask some people about the about the, everybody. Seems like they don't know about it. But it, it, the program it exists. Yeah. I got books on it. Yeah. It's all on the web. I've never heard of it. Yeah. But it, I mean, I, I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, look, look it up. Look up proxy stalking. He, he's in control. Right. So I'm not even worried about what this government's doing. Right. The government's going to pay for what they're doing. They definitely going to pay for yeah. it. So I just wait for that trumpet to sound, my man. I know that's right. You take care. I appreciate. What's your name? Paul. Paul DB. Oh, hi, bro. Uh, you take care. I appreciate you. Right, mm-hmm. Okay. There you have it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? DB do the thing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Good conversation. I told y'all, man. I told y'all that uh oh we got we got the lawnmower crew coming. How much time I got left?
You got a ball game, great pop off over there. But I told y'all, man, get on out, man. Talk to these bots. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the gang stalkers, man. Because, you know, as you can see, the dude right there got some sense. You know what I'm saying? And I know I know for a fact that he's down with me because I see him. I seen him several times with the dogs. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I know for a fact that, um, you know, it's pretty cold out here too, y'all. It, 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 it looks like it's, an, it's a real nice summer day, but it's far from summer. It's, it's, it's chilly out here. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I came dressed for the occasion, but... You know, talk talk to the boss, man. Stop calling these people demons. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, man, these people are doing it because, number one, they might be just ignorant to what's going on. You know, they might just been assigned to do it, and they really don't know. They really don't know you. You know what I'm saying? So they just assign, you know, even though he just lied and said he don't know, he never heard of it. Trust me, you heard of it. You know. You see what I'm saying? So... Comment down below, man. Tell me what you think, man. Tell me what. Give me your honest opinion of what you think about that guy right now. You know what I'm saying? Is he a bot? Even though I know he is. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, if I see you more than once, then I already know what time it is. You see what I'm saying? And I've seen him. I've been seeing him for the last two years. <laughs> this is my first time ever speaking to him, though. You know what I'm saying? But he seemed like he's a cool guy, though. He seemed like he's a too, you know, cool, cool dude. You know, it don't seem like nothing wrong with him. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just saying, you know, they just, you know, people, they just lying to people about you. <laughs> and they got everybody looking at you goofy when you a good dude or a good woman or whatever. And they just basically turning everybody against you. That's it. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I've been, you know, being I'm, I'm being gang stalked by people I went to school with. I'm, you know, I ex-girlfriends turned against me. And I'm like, these are people that I laid down with. I'm like... You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as you can see, you know, you know, they can turn people against you. So the question is, how are they doing it? Are they doing it by manipulation, force, you know, whatever? And then I got people that I don't even see no more or don't even participate in it. I guess they don't want to, you know, be bothered with it. So maybe is it a choice? Do they have a do they have a choice? Like, OK, I don't want to I don't want to you know, I don't want to do it. I don't want to participate in it. But if you but if you if you deal with me, then you gotta participate. That's one thing I learned. That's one thing I could say. If you partic if you if you are in my circle, then you have to participate with the tyranny. You're gonna have to do the tactics. You're gonna have to just do do whatever these gang stalkers do. Scratch your nose, cough, you know, you know, you know, just break breaking your room, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, things like that. Things that they do gaslight you etc etc so i'm gonna cut this video off and get up out of here had no had no had no and had, didn't even have a plan to even make a video this long like i said today is saturday and we out this joint and, and, and i got my bronze on today look look and i got my bronze on you know what i'm saying feet feel feet feel fine you know what i'm saying Give me another pair of kicks when when y'all when y'all hit the cash app up. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, y'all. DB Gangstar Simulation, the best channel on YouTube. Holla back, player, player. Stay strong, stay blessed, and stay smart. Stay vigilant for your adversaries like a roaring lion seeking whom it may devour. Holla back, though.